strong contributor, Dr. Dan Gottlieb. Thanks, Hi. Roseanne. Hey. Great to be here again, as always. Yeah, you're not kidding. Recently, I attended um, one of your seminars, and you had told a story that brought something to my attention that I had never actually thought about before, and, and it was it was pretty pretty interesting. And I, I want you to share the story with your viewers, and also to share the story of the difference. And you had told a story, and you told how there was a difference between pain and suffering. And I think oftentimes, normally, we think that they're one of the same. Pain is suffering, and suffering is pain. So if you could share the story and explain how there is a difference, I think it would really be helpful. Suffering is always pain. Whenever we suffer, we're in pain. Mm -hmm. um, Look, pain is inevitable in life, physical, emotional, social. It's inevitable. We have it. We have it over and over and over again in our lives. Suffering is not inevitable. So I had this terrible accident two and a half years ago. I was thrown out of my wheelchair, landed on my face and head, and I got a concussion, re-traumatized my spinal cord, and I'm left now with severe pain in both my arms and my deltoids. When it first happened, I was suffering terribly. Now this pain feels like, on a good day, like a second degree burn. Okay, and I think we should mention that you only have feeling from here right. here up. Right. So this is where you have all of your feeling. And right. so to that have pain worse. where you have feeling is... That much worse. Yeah. So um, there I am with all this pain. And when it first happened, I said to myself, this is a nightmare. I can't live like this. I don't know if I want to live like this. And the pain would get worse, and it would last, and I would brace up against it. Well, over time I realized, when, when I spoke to a neurologist about what was happening, that I wasn't suffering, Dan wasn't suffering, my arms were suffering, the nerve endings in my arms were suffering. They thought they were being hyperstimulated, they thought they were being injured, and they weren't. My arms were suffering. So I felt a kind of compassion for my arms, a sadness for what they were going through. And on occasion, I feel a sadness for what I'm going through, not self-pity, just sadness for what this kind person, what those innocent arms are going through. So that's the difference between pain and suffering. The pain hasn't changed, but I suffer less. I, I saw that when I was in South Africa with my daughter Debbie, and she was in the back of the van with me, and you know we were driving along these rutted roads, and you know I bounce around pretty badly, and the more I bounce, the more pain I feel, and I was really in agony. And I'm watching my poor child's face, and you know when when we settled down, when we arrived and stopped bouncing like that, my pain went back to normal and I was okay. She wasn't. Mm. I felt pain. She suffered. And that's the difference. Now, of course, if tables were turned, you know, I would suffer terribly. And sure, any, watching anybody her pain. Would, of course. But, you know, there is a difference between pain and, and suffering. Suffering comes with the stories we tell ourselves about what the pain is, or what it means, or how it got there, or stories we tell ourselves. When the mind takes over the experience of pain, it makes it worse. When you just experience pain, that's all it is. It's just an experience of pain. So the suffering will end, but the pain, if there's real physical pain, that may not end. Well, it changes. Right. It changes like our emotions, our moods, or our thoughts. It gets better, it gets worse. 
depending on what we're focused on. You know, pain is like everything else, like like clouds in the sky, Rosie. You just look at them, stare at them, mm -hmm. and they'll change. You do that with sensations in your body. Do it with your emotions. Do it with your thoughts. You watch. They're going to change, just like clouds in the sky. That's great. Thanks so much for that great message and, yeah. and for sharing your story with us. Yeah, you're more than welcome.